A massive tornado hit Oklahoma. How much damage did it do? What causes tornadoes? And what can we do to help? Anthony here for D News. Yesterday afternoon, a tornado tore through Moore, Oklahoma, a large suburb of Oklahoma City. The tornado was two miles wide and traveled for 22 miles, leaving at least 24 dead, an unknown number injured, and causing major damage, including leaving 40,000 residents without power. The tornado is estimated to be an EF4 rated storm with winds thought to be up to 200 miles an hour. Now, EF stands for Enhanced Fujita Scale, an updated version of a tornado rating scale that's been used in the US and Canada since 1971. The scale rates storm damage from zero to five, with five being the most possible damage. For comparison, uh, category five on the hurricane scale, which is the most destructive hurricane possible, has winds up around 156 miles an hour. At the time we're taping this, we're still not entirely sure of the tornado's classification because the EF scale is based on measuring the damage left behind by a tornado because they move much too quickly to track. Tornadoes are formed as the result of an extremely large thunderstorm called a super Supercell. If the wind changes direction and gains speed just as the storm forms, cold air and warm air combine. Now the cold air drops and the warm air rises and as the air keeps circulating, it twists into a funnel cloud. Hurricanes are similar, but they form over ocean water and they cover many miles. Now tornadoes form over land and they're usually smaller storms. They're not more than a mile in diameter usually. Hurricanes tend to cause more damage because they're spread out like hundreds of miles wide and they can last for days. Tornadoes usually only last for a few minutes and rarely more than a few hours. But a tornado is a much more focused storm and its winds can reach much higher speeds than a hurricane can. The deadliest tornado in U.S. history was the Tri-State Tornado of 1925, which touched down in Missouri and then went through areas of Illinois and Indiana. It killed 695 and injured 2,027 people. It destroyed 15,000 homes and caused $16.5 million in damage, which, if you adjust that to 2013 dollars, is $1.4 billion in damages. It's too early to tell just how widespread the damage of this tornado is, but the destruction is pretty huge, and this tornado is part of a larger storm system so more storms will be hitting and more damage is expected. A number of charities are taking donations for victim relief. We'll put links to them down below as well as a link to Charity Navigator so you can decide which one is best for you. And we'll have more updates on the storm as we get new information.